What father hasn't said to his offspring, son? Build a better mousetrap and the world will be a pathway to your door. And the mousetrap could well be the symbol of invention. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is VoiceOver Jill. And in this video, I'm making a dish. And I'm just going to explain it to you guys kind of in steps if you wanted to follow along and actually learn how to make one. So step one is to get a dish. I got mine at Michael's. It was 99 cents. It's just a plain wooden dish. It was an impulse buy and then I decided to turn it into just like this little, I don't know, key holder, I guess. I, I'm making it for my boyfriend because he always loses his keys and wallet. And anytime we try to leave the house, it takes us like 10 minutes trying to find them. So I thought, well, maybe if he has a dish, he'll use it. And he doesn't, but it's cute. So it's a good little decoration. So step two is going to be to figure out your design, draw it out. I went with a 90s theme because I wanted to use some more bright colors that I don't usually use in my pieces and I had a lot of fun doing that. Um, step three, buy the right materials that you need. I ended up just using the red and like magenta color I had to try to do the troll's hair. And in my head, it was supposed to be this like really nice hot pink color. And I went to a couple art stores. I couldn't find a hot pink oil paint. So I just used what I had. And I should have just bought the pigment, The World's Pinkest Pink by CultureHustleUSA.com. But I was too lazy. I didn't want to order it. I didn't want to wait for it to ship to me. So I didn't do that. And I ended up not liking the final result as much as I would have if I had that pink. Although I do really enjoy the final result. Um, if you guys don't know, The World's Pinkest Pink is made in spite of Anish Kapoor because he's the man who invented uh, Vanta Black, which is the world's blackest black that absorbs like 99.9% .9 of light or something like that. So when you, when you put it on a 3D object, it absorbs all of the light and it literally just looks like a black like hole and it's, it's insane, but he won't share it with anybody. He only uses it for his own art. So they created this pink and when you buy it, you have to confirm that you are not Anish Kapoor and you're not buying it for him and you're not gonna give it to him or anything and it's like no way will this paint find its way into the hands of Anish Kapoor because he will not share the black with other artists. Um, so one day I will get that paint and I will use it and it'll be great but today is not that day. So here you'll see that I'm painting one of those little Furbies. I think it's so cute. Um, but in the top corner area, you'll see the little yellow Tamagotchi. Unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of me painting it, but I do think that that is my favorite part of the whole piece altogether, just because I think it turned out really well, and I like the cute little, like, digital heart that I added. Um, but yeah. So if you guys like the music that's playing in the background, um, that was actually made by my boyfriend Dennis and he makes music and I decided to use it in this video because I really, really like it and I want to support him and he's not that confident about his music. He does it more for fun. He doesn't think he's like the best at it. I think he's really talented. So if you guys agree, please let me know in the comments so I can share them with him. I'll link his URL to his SoundCloud down below so you guys can check him out. He doesn't post a lot. He's not like actively trying to do this. It's more of a hobby, but... I really like his music and if you guys like it you guys can use it for your youtube videos as long as you like tag him in it um but yeah um so here you'll see that i am trying to fix up the little kit kat um so dennis he loves kit kat so i really wanted to include one in it and i looked up 90s kit kat wrappers and in my head i like got it confused when i was painting it and i thought that it was a red circle with white lettering and then I looked back and it was actually a white circle with red lettering, so I had to go over it. So that's why it looked all weird, but we fix it. It's fine. Um, and yeah, so the rest of it, I'm just kind of filling in. I'm just going to stop talking and let you guys enjoy the music and the painting. And I will get back to you when we get back to the resin part.
So I know that I kind of just went from painting the Kit Kat and now all of a sudden it's got a lime green background and lime green edges. Um, I just didn't get any footage of that, but I mean you guys can enjoy the peeling of the tape. putting some oil-based polyurethane over it just because putting resin over oil isn't the best idea and I read that if you put polyurethane over it it kind of cement the uh, oil paint like into the wood and so then I let that dry for a couple days and then I went in with the resin and I'll see if I can find the one that I used I just got it from the local art store but um, if I can find it I'll link it down below and I just followed the instructions on that. I'm pretty sure if I can remember it was a one-to-one -one ratio. And I just made a small amount because I was only covering a small amount of surface area. Um, and so you mix that together and you want to mix it thoroughly but not too vigorously because then you're going to get air bubbles. And that's what we're trying to avoid because those are kind of hard to get out of the resin. It can be done with a butane torch. I just didn't have one at the time. So I was really trying to stay away from the bubbles. And for the most part, I did. I've stopped keeping track of what step we're on, but I'm just going to say this is step six of pouring the resin. And then after that, you're going to put a plastic container on it and a hammer to weigh it down. And then you leave that for about like, I would say a week. It's definitely less than that. I left it as a week just because I wanted to stay on the safe side. And there it is, your final dish. I'm actually really happy with the way it turned out. And this can be used as something to hold your keys. It could be used as an ashtray. It could be used literally anything you want to use it for. Um, and yeah, here's some nice footage of it, and you'll get to see Mowgli one more time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Um, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye, guys.